Topping our morning rush, the district attorney's office is ready to fight to keep the suspect in two murders of Muslim men in jail. Prosecutors say releasing Mohammed Sayed until trial would once again put the community in danger. One of the murders, police say Sayed shot at the victim 13 times in their own driveway. Sayed's next hearing is on Monday. Meanwhile, APD is still trying to figure out the motive behind the killings. The president of the Islamic Center of New Mexico says that while he is relieved that the gunman was not affiliated with a hate group, one of the victim's brothers says that the murders are not because of a conflict between the Sunni and Shiite Muslims. Investigators still trying to work to determine if Syed was behind the murders of two other Muslim men. Muslim leaders say video from a local mosque appears to show Syed slashing the tires of an SUV belonging to victim Mohammed Zahir Ahmadi's family in 2020. Ahmadi was the victim who was shot to death in November of 2021. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's a warm morning out there, feeling comfortable for the kiddos heading out on the bus stop. And by this afternoon, we'll be hot again, back into the upper 80s with a slight chance for a thunderstorm. After 30, 37 years, the mystery of a girl found dead in southern New Mexico has finally been uncovered. Detectives now say that they've identified her as 16-year-old Dorothy Harrison, who was found in a shallow grave near Upham, New Mexico in 1985. Investigators are asking anyone with information about her case to call the Doña Ana County Sheriff's Office. We are seeing more cases of criminals removing window panes to break into businesses. Jessica Carruthers owns the Blow Blow Dry Bar and Wax in the City locations on Paseo Do Norte and San Pedro. Both shops had their windows removed and merchandise was stolen. APD says they've seen this trend across the city since December. State police and Rio Rancho police are searching for a woman who may be in danger. 37-year-old Shayla Johnson was last seen on Monday leaving her home in Rio Rancho. Now, a family friend said that she had just dropped off her three older kids at school and took her toddler to the babysitter. She was driving a gold 2003 Lexus sedan with New Mexico license plate AXLW46. Erica. And here's a look at the threat index. It's moderate to high. We'll see heavy storms in southern New Mexico with burn scar flooding in those southern high terrain spots, along with some flash flooding potential. Former President Donald Trump invoked his Fifth Amendment rights time and again in questioning with the New York State Attorney General Letitia James. Her civil investigation is looking into whether the former president's real estate businesses inflated the value of its assets. The former president called the investigation a, quote, politically motivated witch hunt. City of Las Vegas is close to running out of water due to pollution. The Las Vegas City Council is now asking each household to only use 4,000 gallons per day. The city hopes to get a temporary pretreatment system up and running as soon as possible. A new plan is in place this morning to protect New Mexico drivers from crashes with wildlife. Officials are looking at options like a sheep overpass in Nevada or a deer underpass in Colorado or even fences and wildlife overpasses like those in Arizona. The state still needs to secure hundreds of millions of dollars for that project. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. There is a slight slowdown on I-40 East near 4th Street. And here's a look over the big eye cam. There are lots of cars on the roads, but everything's still moving at speed. Finally, this morning, about 4,000 beagle puppies are looking for forever homes after they were rescued from a breeding facility. Officials say the dogs are being bred to be sold to laboratories for animal experimentation. They will be cared for until they are healthy enough to be adopted out. Time now for the five facts. At number five, the biopark is helping conserve a butterfly species found only in New Mexico's Sacramento Mountains because of habitat loss at checker spot. Butterfly is one of the most endangered butter butterflies in the U.S. The Biopark Society is now working to restore its habitat, and they collected two male and female butterflies, hoping to have adult butterflies by June or July of next year. At number four, the mystery of a girl found dead in southern New Mexico is finally uncovered 37 years later. The body had only been known as the Upham Girl. It's because she was found in a shallow grave near Upham, New Mexico back in 1985. Detectives have now identified her as 16-year-old Dorothy Harrison, who left her home in Wichita, Kansas, with two women that her family did not know. New technology has now allowed investigators to take DNA from her femur bone, which helped identify her. And at number three, we are going to see isolated storms across mainly southern New Mexico today. Uh, the threat for burn scar flooding in that southern high terrain and slightly less storm activity in the northern mountains. At number two this morning, APD is still trying to figure out the motive behind the slayings of four Muslim men as another man sits in jail charged for two of the murders. The president of the Islamic Center of New Mexico says that while he is relieved that the gunman was not affiliated with a hate group, he says he is disappointed that the prime suspect is part of their community. One of the victim's brothers, though, says that the murders are not because of a conflict between the Sunni and Shiite Muslims, like the New York Times has been reporting. 
Finally, number one for you this morning, the district attorney's office is ready to fight to keep the suspect in two murders of Muslim men in jail. We just learned that he's set to face a judge on Monday. Prosecutors say releasing Mohammed Sayed until trial would once again put the community in danger and they must convince a judge their concerns are valid. As of right now, Sayed is accused in the killings of Aftab Hussein and Mohammed Afsal, according to the latest court filings. Sayed hid in the bushes and fired 13 rounds at Hussein while Hussein was pulling out of his own driveway last month. Then on August 1st, investigators say Sayed shot and killed Afsal while he was walking around his UNM area apartment. Investigators are still working to determine if Sayed is responsible for the other two murders of the two Muslim men.